people. People. On top of people. On top of people. On top of people. As a symbol. For an entrance. To a town. People in apartment buildings. Here's a hallway. Here's a hallway. Here's a room. The hallway is for someone who might not want to be in the room yet. <laughs> you know, You know how. You don't want to go into a great baronial hall <laughs> where there are too many people standing. Too many people standing who turn standing and say hello. That you have to say hello to. <laughs> A room where you have to say hello to someone you don't want to. <laughs> When I was a kid, there were no hallways. The play began immediately. You threw the football out of the first floor window. Everyone said hello. There should be rooms with no hallways. Everyone says hello. I always envision a place where there's maybe five people at the doorway, sometimes. A variety of high and low spaces, an environment which is a kind of landscape. A bathroom.
a place for students, hermits and adolescents, <laughs> who demanded different things. And were all wrong. About what they wanted. They wanted everything very close to them. They wanted everything very close to them. One person, for example, took out his lunch at exactly 12 o'clock. He took out a ham sandwich. I felt it was a pretty good idea <laughs> to have a place he could go to. An outdoor area or meeting hall. A place where he could get away from it all. where he could fly like a bird and swim like a fish. So, I built a series of small lunch rooms where you could eat lunch and discuss your problems. There was no telling how the rooms would be used. Window seats added a hate of comfort. A way to get away from someone and be alone in a room with people eating lunch. Discussing your problem. You could say, I'll go over here. And you could go over there. <laughs> and go away from what was being said about your problem. You could look out the window sitting down. There should be great rooms for lunch.
large cafeterias with no windows. Everyone eats there. You're never alone. 